For a very long time I have been using coffee filters to filter almost everything. So I have decided that I will buy some glass freed filters. But since I am grossly impatient, I tried to make some before they arrive. What you see here is my very first attempt, so it's definitely possible. And it is possible to make them even superior to commercial stuff. The process is also relatively easy and scalable, so that's nice. These spritz are usually made from glass crap that is heated and cooled down in water quickly so it cracks. I guess that it is possible to use some ball mill or something like that, but I am basically pulling some 1mm thick glass fibers. If you can call them fibers. These are very easy to crush and result in quite uniform grain. Downside obviously is that it is very energy and work intensive process. And these are all the fibers that I have made. I will break them by hand so they are more workable and then crush them further. Now you may cringe looking at this, but unless you are reckless, it is pretty okay-ish process. Here I will powderize the glass fibers under water. Doing this manually is also quite work intensive, so some ball meal would be better. But I have no intention making these frits in future, really. Now, since I am crushing these with stone, it is pretty certain that there will be some carbonate, so I will neutralize these with or dissolve these with hydrochloric acid. Then I will let the glass settle to the bottom and remove most of the water. And what I cannot remove with decanting, I will use some paper towel to suck the water. And finally I will use hot plate to evaporate the water. I'm constantly blowing air on the thing because I want to prevent water from boiling. I will transfer glass to the stainless steel plate. And then I spread the powder so the layer thickness is relatively uniform. Then I baked this thing at about 800 degrees for 3 hours. Maybe you can use higher temperature and less time, but I cannot test this because my oven doesn't go really much higher. After baking I got this thing out of the oven and immediately it cracked. Which I guess it's okay because you can use some graphite powder and this will not happen probably. But there is quite obvious difference between how the top layer and the bottom layer is fused or top side and bottom side. Top side is quite loose and the bottom side is very flat and almost mirror-like. So top side is obviously quite crumbly and bottom is pretty good actually. So I used torch to torture the top side a little bit and it worked quite well, so that's good. Here you can see close up of the bottom side and it is very hard. It is much much harder than commercial stuff. So that's very nice. And just to check if I overdone it, I dropped some water on it and it's quite okay. Now to check if I can actually process this with my torch and light and stuff, I formed a circle using file. Now I can actually feel that the structure is not quite uniform, but what can you do I guess. Anyway, so it fits relatively nicely into the tube. So I set up my light so I can melt this together and have a go at it. And I don't really know how much heat this requires, how it should be melted and whatever, so yeah, it cracked. In any case, I fill this thing with water so I can just see how much porous it is. And it is quite porous, so if you want less porosity you would probably need more baking time. But overall it does behave as glass-free filter. So I guess I call this a success.